Water is the source of all life on our planet, and it's what makes the Earth unique, the blue planet. However, beyond the oceans, the distribution of water is quite uneven. In some parts of the world, there are serious water shortages. Germany, on the other hand, is a country rich in water resources. Every year, an average of 307 cubic kilometers of precipitation falls here. That's equivalent to 860 liters per square meter. If this water from precipitation stayed where it was, it would form an 86 centimeter thick layer of water across the whole country on average. But not all parts of the country had the same amount of rain. In some places, the layer of water is thicker, and in other places, it's thinner. In the Alps, the layer is over two meters thick. The district of Nordheim in southern Lower Saxony has an average layer. It's 86 centimeters thick. In contrast, there's less than 60 centimeters of precipitation for the whole year in parts of Brandenburg and Saxony-Anhalt. But almost two-thirds of precipitation evaporates again, a total of 190 cubic kilometers. On average, that's about 50 centimeters lost from the water layer. The amount of water left over varies greatly from region to region. But rivers also make water available, even in regions where there's not a lot of water left over from precipitation. And large amounts of water also flow into Germany from abroad. Let's take the Rhine as an example. It brings 30 cubic kilometers from Switzerland via Lake Constance. The Moselle brings another 5 cubic kilometers from France. And more than the same amount again accumulates in the German part of the drainage basin. Finally, 75 cubic kilometers of water flows over the border into the Netherlands and from there into the sea. In total, 71 cubic kilometers of water flows into Germany from abroad per year. Together with the amount that's left over from precipitation after evaporation, we have 188 cubic kilometers of water available here in Germany per year. We use a fifth of it, but what for? Agriculture in Germany mainly relies on rainwater. The volume used for artificial irrigation is currently very low, less than 0.3 cubic kilometers. However, in large areas of the country, groundwater and rivers are polluted with nitrogen and phosphorus as a result of the intensive use of agricultural fertilizers. Drinking water is mainly obtained from groundwater wells and then treated. Private households use four cubic kilometers per year, mostly for baths, showers, flushing the toilet and doing the laundry. The amount used for drinking and cooking is minimal in comparison. Wastewater is treated in sewage treatment plants. However, due to the current state of technology, the treated water contains medicines and other trace substances that get into the aquatic environment. Industry uses almost twice as much water, seven cubic kilometers to be exact. It's mainly taken directly from rivers. Most of this water is used for cooling, although some of it is also used as process water, which has to go through a wastewater treatment plant before it can flow back into the rivers. The largest users of water are power stations that generate electricity and heat. That's why they're usually built next to large rivers. 21 cubic kilometers of cooling water is pumped into the power stations per year, and most of it is fed back again, but it's considerably warmer. Some regions, including many cities, consume more water than they're able to obtain themselves on their own territory. The colors of these areas on the map range from ochre to orange. For that reason, there's a network of long-distance water pipelines covering the Stuttgart area, the Rhine main area, and the Ruhr area. But some less densely populated areas, such as Thuringia and Saxony-Anhalt, also use reservoirs and long-distance pipelines because of local water shortages. More than one out of every four households in Germany relies on these artificial water flows. Even if it sometimes has to be brought from more than 100 kilometers away, the actual amount of water available has not often been a problem in Germany so far. Water management experts are more concerned about the quality of the water. Many rivers still have an unsatisfactory or poor ecological status. 
They're colored orange and red here. But there has been some progress already. People can go bathing in the Rhine again without having to worry about serious health risks. And even the salmon have returned. In clear tributaries, for example in the Sieg, salmon have found spawning ground again. The route along the Rhine is certainly not clean yet. But a few hundred salmon now make it back to the sea every year. Water management experts, scientists, environmental authorities and NGOs are all working to improve the rivers so that they can reach a good ecological status once again. But there's still a lot to be done, even in water-rich Germany, before this goal can be achieved.